you want to work in comfort, have you thought about starting or continuing an online class? My name is Dimitar Reynikov and I started my online classes at Allen School of Health Sciences in medical billing and coding major. It was the best experience of my life when it comes to education. I received a high GPA. Our professors were always helpful and punctual. And overall, it was a great experience. Let's begin by discussing productivity in college. Online education saves time because A, you don't need transportation, and B, computers make everything faster. And as a benefit, you can also study with students from around the world, meet new people. Let's continue with online classes effect on the environment. Online classes help save the environment. Did you know that paper can only be recycled six times? The fibers become too weak and new fresh trees need to be added into the mixture in order to produce high quality paper, according to the New York Times. Also, environmental lifestyles are perfect when used in educational settings. Research shows. My next point is that online education is just as good as traditional education. It's just like a classroom. I remember when I studied in Allen School, we had the same system we do in here in Canton University. We had a website called Angel Learning and we had cameras and microphones, all kinds of different types worked with the system. It recognized many of them. It was very user-friendly. Angel Learning supports all kinds of different cameras and microphones for both students and faculty. And a student, Arlene Waintrap, said, I don't want my education just to be different because I've chosen this program. She also says that the experience is similar to that on campus, even though it's far away. That brings us to how online education is different. There's no transportation, like I mentioned, and you don't have to worry about cold weather or hot weather because when you're at home you have access to cooling and heating and you don't need to move far and struggle. You also have food. The next point I want to make is that online education is effective. Students and faculty alike have flexibility in classes, in schedules, and in homework assignments, according to my studies at Allen School of Health Sciences. Aside from all of this, the future of online education should be noticed as well. Katrina Myers writes in her book, President Obama has stressed the need for higher education to control its costs, to produce better graduates, and to keep material up to date and high quality. He also says, that online education needs to produce better and better graduates with time. So it is an inferior, it is an evolving form of education, and it has a promising future. Colleges must ensure quality education and the success of their students. The same author, Katrina Myers, asks, are there differences in engagement between online and face-to-face -face classes? And she answers that question in her book by saying, engagement may be engagement in both settings. An interesting thing is that many students want to take online classes and for some colleges the demand exceeds the supply. I have a statistic from Babson College, a survey, and it says that in fall 2002, 
1.6 million students took an online class, at least one. In 2012, that number jumped to 6,100,046. The same college did another more recent survey on students' feelings towards the superiority and the inferiority of different kinds of education. In 2003, about 40% of students felt that online education is inferior than traditional education. And in 2012, only 25% felt that way. So online education is evolving and students are beginning to accept it more openly and have higher views of it. In conclusion, online classes are becoming, becoming an increasingly good way to get a degree. There's less transportation. There's less weather problems. It saves the environment, and it is just as good as face-to-face -face education. And it is expanding in potential. Questions? Thanks for viewing.